Bless you, brothers and sisters. I want to share with you a uh, prophetic dream that the Lord gave me on December 3rd, 2019. And it's about the silencing of God's people and the persecution on God's people. The silencing of independent media. And so, uh, thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us together, Lord. I ask that you bless your people, that you will touch their hearts, Father God, that you will... Um, open the eyes and the ears of those that are not listening, Lord, and that you prepare your remnant for this hour, this late, late hour that we're in, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be your Holy Spirit, Lord, that speaks through me, and I thank you for these opportunities in Jesus' name. So the dream essentially began to where I was looking uh, I was observing only and I could see the that there was many big big name uh, independent media uh, um, folks that were being lumped and that were being uh, put to the left side and those that were being uh, uh, attacked and targeted they were being uh, taken out of the ability they were no no longer able they were censored and no longer able to uh, carry out their their regular jobs their daily um, jobs of bringing forth the, the news and and I'm talking about the people where people that were bringing out the truth I mean we're seeing that today uh, very heavily happening but in this dream it was um, a sort of a, a, a how do you say that um, they're completely doing away with independent media and um, as I was seeing that happening the um, the people of God were very uh, severely persecuted those that were speaking uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ those that were bringing the truth were very severely persecuted they were silenced and um, and so there was great urgency in this dream I was warning people and letting people know I was telling people of the urgency of the matter and and there was great hatred against the people of God great great hatred of those that brought the truth and um, great persecution uh, those that um, uh, that were bringing the truth were severely persecuted as I said and and things were just uh, moving really quickly very very quickly and so again I in the dream was very quickly trying to alert people let people know that this was coming and so the Lord's letting us know that there's coming a day and as we're seeing it ha unfolding now that uh, the the people of God will be silenced uh, and, and not completely because uh, the the word of God is not bound okay the Lord will always move his people will always move through his people even in this most severe persecution uh, however, the Lord was just letting us know that there's coming a time when there's going to be such, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the words, but uh, a censorship of all the media that your your favorite people that you listen to and the, those that you, your resources that you currently go out to to listen to, you will no longer have that ability uh, because it'll be taken from us. And um, an effort to silence the truth, an effort, an effort to silence the gospel of Jesus Christ, an effort to silence the word of God. But blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for his word will never be silenced. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will never pass away. Hallelujah. No lie is of the truth. Thank you, Jesus. And we praise you, Heavenly Father, for your holy name, that your 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 name be lifted on high, be exalted above all, for your holy name is exalted above all the earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so I wanted to bring this to you because it's coming. And for you to pray, for you to pray for for uh, for our freedoms. Um, and so I want to share uh, Matthew 10 because Matthew 10 tells us about persecution. 
And there's many other uh, scriptures, but Matthew 10 is persecution. I want to say it in Spanish real quick. Este sueño tenía que ver con persecución que viene a la, a la gente de Dios. Todas las personas que están hablando la palabra de Dios y, y, y exaltan el nombre de Jesús. Los que tratan de, de, de poner la verdad y para, para uh, la, las agencias de, de, uh, de medios de noticias que son independientes hoy en día serán uh, uh, clausuradas, serán, te, las tratarán de, de apagar, las tratarán de, de, de callar como hacen en otros países. Entonces eso es lo que este, este sueño profético me lo enseñó a Jesús el 3 de diciembre 2019. Esto es para que recen, para que recen, porque esto es para, va, va a afectar a todos los que dicen la verdad, a todo el, 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 el cuerpo de Jesús. The body of Christ. And so, um, praise you, Lord Jesus. So, for the remnant to pray against this, for the rem remnant to, to get, grow strong and preach the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And so, Matthew 10, if you want to go there with me. Uh, starting with verse 17 it says but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues and the they and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the gentiles and when they deliver you up take no thought how or what you shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak for it is not you that speak but the spirit of your father which speaks in you it'll be the holy spirit that speaks through your mouth in that hour in that hour of persecution in that hour of trial okay and the brother shall deliver up brother to death and the father the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. There was great hatred in this dream. And this was not the only dream I've had about this. I had several other dreams, dreams prior to, to December 3rd, 2019 regarding the same thing. The persecution and the silencing of the saints. And But he that endures to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in the light, in light, and what you hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him. The Almighty God, Jesus Christ, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So it's the Lord Jesus that we fear. Thank you, Lord. And so I wanted to bring this to you, uh, precious people. I love you. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be strong. <laughs>